In this video, we are going to talking about what happens to your body if you drink cinnamon tea every day. Cinnamon is a spice that is considered to have superpowers that can naturally treat various health conditions. There are two different types of cinnamon, but you should be cautious of one of them. In this video, we will explore the science behind cinnamon's medicinal properties. You will learn how cinnamon can help treat conditions ranging from less serious to more serious ones like digestive issues. We will also discuss the latest findings on using cinnamon to treat more serious neurodegenerative diseases. Be sure to watch until the end because we will share some simple tips and recipes for adding more cinnamon to your diet. History and Traditional Uses In certain periods of history, cinnamon has been considered more valuable than gold. Egyptians utilized cinnamon for its culinary and aromatic properties for medicinal purposes and even in mummification. Since approximately 4,000 years ago, cinnamon was also recognized for its potential as an aphrodisiac in ancient cultures. Known for its warm, sweet, and spicy aroma, cinnamon primarily utilizes its bark to create the cinnamon sticks and ground powder that we are familiar with. However, other parts like the leaves, flowers, fruits, and roots are also used. The leaves are often used for curries and the flowers are dried for tea. While cinnamon has many culinary applications, it has also been highly valued for its medicinal properties throughout history. But what are some of its most popular and traditional medicinal uses? Let's dive into it. Health Benefits of Cinnamon The many health benefits of cinnamon come from its unique active compounds and properties. Cinnamon contains powerful components that have anti-inflammatory effects and give cinnamon its distinctive flavor and aroma. Cinnamon is also rich in polyphenols, which are plant-based compounds with potent antioxidant properties. In various lab studies analyzing antioxidant capacity, cinnamon has top antioxidant abilities compared to other spices. Now, let's discover six powerful reasons why you should drink cinnamon tea every day. 1. Lowers blood glucose levels. Cinnamon is effective in regulating blood sugar levels, offering notable benefits for those with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Human studies have confirmed its impact on blood sugar. Comprehensive research is still ongoing to understand why cinnamon has these beneficial effects on glucose. 2. Offers antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. Cinnamon has been used as an expectorant, which means it can dissolve mucus in the lungs and nose when you're sick. It not only combats infections, but also inhibits the growth of specific bacteria, such as salmonella, and effectively manages respiratory infections caused by fungi. 3. Relieves digestive problems. Cinnamon has been used to stimulate appetite and enhance digestion. It's also carminative, meaning it helps in the relief of gas, relaxing abdominal muscles and thereby reducing bloating or flatulence. 4. Helps reduce symptoms of dysmenorrhea. Cinnamon serves as both an amenagogue and an anti-dysmenorrhea. As an amenagogue, it promotes menstrual flow by increasing blood circulation to the pelvic area and uterus in women. This can be particularly beneficial in cases of amenorrhea when menstruation is absent for reasons other than pregnancy. 6. Prevents cardiovascular diseases. Cinnamon plays a protective role against cardiovascular diseases. It helps lower blood cholesterol, reduce triglyceride levels, regulate blood pressure, and stabilize blood sugar levels. 7. Prevents neurodegenerative diseases. Emerging research suggests that cinnamon might help in warding off neurodegenerative diseases, notably Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and multiple sclerosis. Types of cinnamon. There are several types of cinnamon. But the two main ones are Ceylon cinnamon, true cinnamon, and cassia cinnamon, Chinese cinnamon or stick cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon is called true because it is believed to have medicinal properties that are somewhat superior to the other types. A notable difference between the two is the coumarin content. Ceylon cinnamon has minimal coumarins, while cassia contains them in higher amounts. Prolonged consumption of high coumarin levels can potentially be toxic to the liver. How can cinnamon be used? Cinnamon can be used for therapeutic applications, which include infusions like cinnamon tea, as well as essential oils and other forms. There are also cosmetic uses like in creams, ointments, or hair masks. Additionally, there are other uses such as 
an insect repellent, an air freshener, or in gardening to combat certain fungi that might affect plants. Medicinal uses of cinnamon. There are numerous ways cinnamon can be used medicinally, including 1. Cinnamon tea. Often crafted as a tisane, which means cinnamon bark is infused in hot water. This comforting beverage can be made through infusion or decoction methods. 2. Supplements. These can be in pill and powder forms for medicinal use. 3. Capsulus. These may contain powder inside, dosed in a standardized form, or they could contain a dry extract which is more concentrated. 4. Fluid extracts. These are liquid, just like tinctures. 5. Essential oils. These can either be from cinnamon bark or cinnamon leaves. 6. Poultices. Direct application of the raw, fresh herb to the skin. 7. Mouthwashes. Used in some cultures. 8. Steam inhalation. Boiling water with added cinnamon is inhaled to treat or improve respiratory infections. How to prepare cinnamon tea. You can either make an infusion or a decoction. The infusion method is quicker and involves using cinnamon powder. Infusion method. Ingredients. 1 to 1.5 teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon powder, equivalent to 2.4 to 2.5 grams, 240-250 milliliters of boiled water, standard cup. Procedure. Pour the powder into a cup of boiled water, 240-250 milliliters. Stir well and let it steep for about 5 to 10 minutes with a lid on. Serving. The tea can be served hot or cold based on preference. Decoction method. Procedure. Bring water to a boil, then add a cinnamon stick or branch. Allow the mixture to simmer with a partial cover for about 10-20 minutes. Serving. The concoction can be enjoyed hot or cold. Recommended daily intake. Typically, one or two cups of cinnamon tea a day are suggested, each containing 240-250 milliliters of water with powdered cinnamon. According to the World Health Organization, the maximum daily intake should be restricted to 4 grams of cinnamon. Potential side effects and risks. In general, when used in food and at typical dosages, cinnamon is safe and shouldn't cause any issues. However, when used medicinally, it's recommended to use true cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. Cassia cinnamon, on the other hand, contains high levels of coumarins, potentially leading to liver toxicity. When used in large doses, cinnamon might cause gastrointestinal issues, including symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, or general digestive symptoms. Some individuals could be allergic to components in cinnamon, leading to a range of symptoms from skin rashes to respiratory issues. While cinnamon offers various health benefits, it's essential to consume it responsibly. Consultation with a healthcare professional is recommended, especially if considering therapeutic uses or if experiencing adverse effects. Always consider potential interactions with medications, particularly with anti-diabetic drugs and anticoagulants. It's recommended to start with the lowest dose of cinnamon and gradually increase intake while monitoring how your body reacts. Conclusion Cinnamon is indeed a powerful spice with numerous health benefits, but it should be consumed responsibly, especially when used medicinally. Always seek guidance from a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or routine, especially if you have existing health concerns or are taking medications. If you're interested in learning more about natural healing and preventing illnesses, we recommend watching our next video. Additionally, you may notice other helpful videos appearing on your screen, so feel free to click on any of them. Better yet, watch both to continue your educational journey with us. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.